First is a uh, big card signed by all of your friends. And that very special uh, picture that we have still upstairs. So that's number one. Number two is the obligatory now, <laughs> book, Apple book, that has all these photos of you and everyone else. Again, signed with special notes of sincere thoughts and comments on your uh, tardiness. <laughs> <laughs> appeared to be a theme. <laughs> um, and, and a little certificate for you and the family to go out and go to La Colina. Because <laughs> we love La Colina. We love you, we thank you, we're so happy we could do this. Thank you, Michael. You know, I, I still can't believe it. Uh, 38 years. You know, some of the things that people have said to me, and I've been overwhelmed by that. Thanks, Dan Cuellar. He's still here. It's right here. He started it. Right here. You he started it. He posted a, a wonderful tribute, lovely, eloquent words, on Facebook about two nights ago. And then it's just been an outpouring of sentiments from our viewers, our wonderful viewers. And I think that's what kept me here in Philadelphia because when I came here, I, you know, I started doing the weather, certainly not a meteorologist, I was a weather gal <laughs> in Huntington, West Virginia. I was at Channel 3, then I went to Channel 4 in Nashville. I mean, Oklahoma City. Ooh, I'm gonna the OTC. Yeah. <laughs> Channel 5 in Nashville, then I came to Channel 6, so I figured naturally I'd go on to Channel 7. <laughs> <laughs> but it was not to be. Philadelphia has been so very good to me. And so many people were so nice, I figured I might find a nice guy to settle down with and <laughs> have kids, and I did. Dr. Bill's over there, and Leland's 30? I want to be 31. Jeez. License 33, and it just seems almost impossible. I remember some of those things so vividly, but there, there are a few things. You know, when I was thinking earlier today, I said, what would I like to share? And there's a great, wonderful Southern writer, Denise, you know her, <laughs> Zora Neale Hurston. That's right. She said once, and she wrote, there are years that will ask questions, and there are years that will answer. And there have been a lot of years where I've had a lot of questions about what I would do with my health, how I would recover, how I'd get back into things. This year, I think I got the answer. So that's how I knew it was time. Gosh, can I just not get emotional? Take your time, Lisa. <laughs> it's okay. And, you know, each one of you, there's a special story about each one of you when I think of you. You always have a special place in my heart. I do plan to come back and visit, but there are a couple things I want to clarify. Dave Roberts talked about our parades, and, <laughs> and it is true, I was, I've always had an issue with <laughs> being one time to think. <laughs> but what Dave failed to tell you was the, the little toddy that he would always <laughs> order for us. <laughs> it was a wonderful blackberry brandy. <laughs> so when you saw us on those cold, cold days, you remember, we didn't always have a heated tent. Yeah. When I started out with Dave, we, we, we climbed up a ladder. And we didn't have any cover. We had two Boy Scouts with an umbrella <laughs> over our heads from the element. Didn't it snow or we had an ice storm about five years straight. But Dave got us prepared and warmed and we were really enjoying the parade. <laughs> Now, now, to Jim's little narrative about Monday Night Football, I did go to Dave Davis, and I was I had been co-anchoring with Jim O'Brien, and uh, then I moved to the five o'clock, anchoring with Mark. Unfortunately, when Jim passed, but I wanted some solo anchoring experience. I figured if I would ever get a chance to fill in for Jim. 
I better know how to anchor alone. So I did ask Dave, and he said, you know, that, that might be a sticky topic. You better go to Jim. So I walked in that room and <laughs> got to the smoke <laughs> in his office. And I did say, Jim, what would you think about me taking over the uh, news after Monday Night Football? He didn't look at me once until I said, take over the news for Monday Night Football. He was busy doing something. As soon as I said that, he looked up at me and he said, I will put you in my will. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> but I figured that was a guess. <laughs> and then came the task of explaining to my husband and especially my young boys. I, tr I was trying, Jim asked me out in the hallway before we came in, what year was that? And for the life of me, I can't remember, but I remember that Langston was old enough that I had to explain to him that I wouldn't be home at the regular time. So, um, but I would be there to fix pancakes in the morning. <laughs> and as Mark and Gary and maybe Jim do, I got up every morning despite the time I went to bed and fixed pancakes for them before they went to school or grits or oatmeal, <laughs> whatever, breakfast. And anyway, um, I was explaining to Langston that mommy was going to be doing the news after the football game. But I would be back and it was probably too late for him to watch. But maybe his dad would let him watch a few times if he was really good and went with his you know, studies or I think he had some kindergarten work at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so the first time I was on, the next morning, can somebody hand me my water? Right there on the floor. The the first night I did Monday Night Football, <clears throat> true, to me, true to my word, I was up fixing breakfast and um, Lyston said, Mommy, I saw a little bit of you last night. I was looking for you, but I really am not sure if I saw you. I was really looking hard. What helmet were you wearing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he hadn't heard newscast. He had just heard football games. <laughs> I have so many stories like that, and uh, I just have so many, so many wonderful memories. And I, you know, I, I never thought that I would come back after the first illness. We tried so hard to figure out what it was, and so I started feeling better, and I, I, I really missed it so much. And I'm so glad I did come back because. I had my old friends and then I made some new. We had a big changeover and people like Ali Gor Gorman and Shari and I just think they're doing a beautiful, wonderful job and uh, I thank you for gathering tonight, having me here and I love all of you.